Hey everyone welcome to Utopia creating the paradise how are you all guys i hope you all are fine and safe at your place if you are new to this channel i would like to request please check my other videos and if you like the content please consider subscribing also follow me on instagram so today i will going to share some uh, recipes uh, using uh, this nutri cook smart pot these recipes are one pot dishes and can be made in this regular cooker also pressure cooker and these are very uh, easy uh, convenient and uh, it takes less time and also very few ingredients i have used and i hope you will like uh, these recipes and if you try these any any of these recipe then please let me know in the comment box or also you can message me on instagram so let's begin with the video so first recipe is barley khichdi instead of barley you can use dalia quinoa or even rice so here i am taking 1 cup uh, barley along with that i am taking split moong dal half cup you can use uh, any dal of your choice but for khichdi i feel this is a better option wash it thoroughly rinse it 3 4 times or as needed now i will add some vegetables to khichdi so here i am chopping onion also i will take potato you can use any vegetable of your choice to add good fats here i am using uh, fresh coconut 2 to 3 tablespoon along with that i will take baby spinach one big bowl you can use regular spinach also to make khichdi uh, let's start this nutri cook I am keeping this on saute mode because initially I will give tadka to khichdi. Now add some oil or ghee of your choice. Here I am using rice bran oil. Once oil heated, add cumin seeds, cinnamon stick. chopped onion potato saute for some time cover and let it cook here i am checking vegetables are cooked or not yet it not done so again cover and cook now add fresh coconut saute for few seconds then go spinach just saute all these for 2 minutes then go turmeric add barley and dal mix everything now adding garam masala chili powder salt if you like spicy you can use green chili also mix everything together now goes water here i am adding 3 cup of water as i have taken 1 cup barley and half cup dal now adding 1 spoon tamarind pulp it will gives nice tangy taste to khichdi 
जस्ट मिक्स एवरीथिंग नाउ स्टॉप सॉटे मोड और कीप इट ऑफ एंड देन कवर न्यूट्रिको एंड मूव प्रेशर वॉल टू सीलिंग पोजिशन and then start pressure cook mode and keep this pressure cook about 13 minutes 12 to 13 minutes now 13 minutes done but i will open after some time once the pressure will release automatically it's now 35 minutes now i am opening you can see pressure uh, is released automatically so i am opening nutrico and here look at this khichdi this is cooked very well so our healthy barley khichdi is ready खिचड़ी मस्ट बी सर्व विथ घी सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू एड घी ऑल्सो सम आचार और पिकल एंड पापड़ सो अवर हेल्दी बार्ली खिचड़ी इज रेडी नाउ मूव ऑन टू सेकेंड रेसिपी काउपी उसल और चवड़ी और ब्लैक एड बीन्स उसल और सब्जी here i have taken 2 uh, cup of cow peas or black eyed beans rinse it thoroughly wash it thoroughly i have to soak these cow peas for about 4 to 5 hours so this uh, this procedure i am doing in the night because morning i will cook uh, usal or i will make sabji so put in uh, uh, nutri cook and add sufficient water uh, pressure wall should be on ceiling mode and then i will keep for delay cooking okay so here i am selecting the time so about 5 hours i have selected delay and then i kept on beans mode after 5 hours it is done let's open Look at this. These cow peas are really cooked well. So now I can use it uh, to make a sabji. I will make basic uh, sabji like pyaaz ka tadka or onion tadka, and then uh, these cooked cow peas I will put in tadka, some red chili powder, garam masala, whatever masala we like, and then just that's it. We can uh, make uh, within you know 10 to 15 minutes this sabji, and we can serve with uh, chapati, roti, or even with the rice. so easy quick to make and also healthy option now next recipe number 3 is pulao so again i have started saute mode and in the pan i am taking ghee you can use oil also once ghee heated add cumin seeds then goes kishmish fry for few seconds then goes cashews roast for few seconds then goes rice these i just washed for 2 3 times that's it i have taken 1.5 cup or 1 and 1/2 cup then roast this rice along with kishmish and uh, cashews now adding 2 cup uh, water and 1 cup coconut milk here i have used store bought coconut milk 
just mix everything and add salt as per taste this pulao is very simple and believe me guys it is one of tasty pulao and especially for kids this is uh, really good because it gives creaminess of coconut now stop saute mode then secure the lid and place pressure wall on ceiling mode then select rice option I kept this rice to cook and I went out and I reached home by the time the rice was cooked and it was almost 1 hour now pressure already automatically released so I'm opening lid and look at this pulao this is one of the yummiest and my favorite pulao just give it try this is really uh, you know some sweet kind of pulao but uh, you don't need anything along with this you can have simply like that so it is i feel best for toddlers and children here i have used basmati rice now next recipe recipe number 4 that is soya biryani soya chunks here i have already soaked the soya chunks in hot water for 15 minutes and now i am removing this water just i kept it to drain some water again now i have started saute mode then adding some oil you can use ghee here i am taking oil and ghee together then goes cumin seeds ginger garlic paste onions give it mix saute for few seconds added some salt adding some chopped coriander and some coriander i will add later then go soya chunks here i have taken 200 g soya chunks you can increase or decrease soya chunks as per your taste mix everything together then go turmeric powder chili powder some biryani masala mix it well so that this masala will coat on soya chunks and then goes half katori curd mix immediately adding some salt again now adding rice these are just washed basmati rice 1 and 1/2 cup mix everything together saute for few seconds then goes water i am adding 2 cup water or you can add water so that the rice and everything should dip in water then saute mode off secure the lid keep pressure wall on ceiling mode and then selected rice option
it is done now uh, but i thought to wait for some time but my son was hungry so it is 10 12 minutes now releasing pressure manually now open and yes this biryani is done simple quick and tasty biryani now moving on to last recipe that is misa pav recipe this is one of the quickest recipe of misa pav though it is not authentic here in a mixer jar i have taken tomato garlic and onion i will make fine paste of it adding sesame seed coriander seed along with it and some water make a smooth paste adding desiccated coconut you can use fresh coconut also 4 tablespoon i have added desiccated coconut now again saute mode then take a oil for this recipe we need more oil once oil heated add that paste quickly give it mix add some water mix it cover and let it cook for 2 to 3 minutes added some salt and mix and again keep for cooking now adding little water so that it should not stick to bottom the raw smell of onion even garlic it should uh, go so i'm cooking for about 3 to 4 minutes total now adding sprouted moth beans this is major ingredient of misa pav give it mix saute for about 1 minute adding some more salt then goes kanda lasun masala garam masala If you don't have kanda lasun masala you can use uh, chili powder garam masala coriander powder cumin seed powder saute for about 1 minute and then add hot water again switch of saute mode and then all adding hot water for this recipe we need to uh, add hot water and this uh, rasa should be very thin so i'm adding sufficient water look at the consistency it should be thin consistency i felt salt is less so adding some more salt then secure the lid keep pressure wall on sealing mode and then here i am using rice mode because moth bean uh, those are already sprouted and won't take much time to cook this is done after about 45 46 minutes i am opening the lid now This is yummy. Misa pav is ready. 
look at the consistency now to serve we need some mixture like farsan sev gathiya uh, all together first add farsan then goes moth bean rasa add some chopped onion coriander and served with power bread and a piece of lemon and kolhapuri misa pav is ready and to balance everything just put one small spoon of curd Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you like all these recipes and if you do try then let me know stay tuned for more videos thank you take care